Hey guys, welcome back to the Ghost in the Shell Cyborg Laboratory tutorial, and this is part two. And here in part two, we want to talk about setting up lighting. And before we get into adding a lot more detail, what I want to do is create the lighting for this scene. And the reason for that is that it's much easier to get the lighting set at this stage than when we add all the textures and we add a lot more geometry things than we'll render significantly slower. And because I'm going to render this in cycles, I know that I'd like to go ahead and set the lighting up in cycles in a way that is a lot more responsive and iterative. So before we start talking about the lighting that we're going to use here, let's talk about this current lighting. And this is a clay model lighting. It's an ambient occlusion lighting. And notice that it's the same materials applied to everything. And so what I want to talk about first is how do we do that? If we look in here, we'll notice that we're going to render this in cycles, as we said, and we use the GPU compute. So I'm going to come down to this view layer tab and scroll down and you'll see that we have this material override. Now, if I want, I can choose another material in here and let's take something like this steel and you'll notice that everything's black. And now why is that? Well, that's because our front wall here is preventing us from seeing into it. Now, why wouldn't I just hide the front wall all the time? Well, that's because I don't want light from the outside to come in. I want light to actually reflect off the, this wall on the inside. I want this to be turned on. In fact, if I just go ahead and just add a world HDRI and you can see all of a sudden there's lighting coming on more there. And of course, when I turn this off, you're just going to see the reflection of that out there. Since no light's going to be coming in here, I don't need this world HDRI. Actually, all I'm using in here to light this is just this one little area light right here facing down. And let's take a look at that. That's really what 20 Watts. It's got a one meter size square. So it's nothing fancy. That's all we're using to lighting it. So let's go back again into this view layers tab and let's look at this material that we chose. I call it AO, right? So this is the AO material. So let's take a look at what that material is. I'm going to zoom up here a little bit. So first of all, we see we have two shaders. We have a principal BSDF shader, and then we have a transparent shader. So the transparent shaders will be used anytime a back face is showing. And that's what this mix shader is. So we're going to mix these two. If I'm looking at the back of a face, it's going to render it transparent. Otherwise it's going to render it using this node setup. So let's take a look at that. So if I come in here and let's, now I've turned off this ambient occlusion node. And of course I can come in here now and I can, I can adjust color or do whatever I want in here. So that's what, that's what that is. But if I go back into here and turn this on, let's mute this. You'll see that I get this ambient occlusion model, which is a little bit dark, but I like the fact that it's dark. And so I add this little power math node. This is just a math node and I can set it to power. So if I make it two, it's going to be darker. But in this case, I put set to point two. This is what I like. So now I've got this override material that works. Great. And so I can set this color up anything, any way I want. I'm going to leave it like this as I set up the lighting. So before I start setting up the lighting, I want to do a little research on the color tone I want for the scene. And so what I did is I took like a picture. This is a ghost in the shell picture of some colors I liked. And then I asked Midjourney to use this picture and then do a photorealistic futuristic version of a ghost in the shell sci-fi laboratory for creating cyborgs, ghost in the shell color theme theme. So this is the ghost and shell image. And so I've got some of these images here of which I'll show you later what the ones that I like. And then I actually use another picture as well. And I got some different images. And so these are the ones that I like, and I'm gonna look through these and try and find the one that I think is going to work best. I like this kind of green and red. I like that. I like this little grayer, a grayer one. I certainly like this blue and red is nice. And this deep blue is pretty nice too. And this one actually has got nice and colorful. It's got orange and it's got some red lights uh, also. I like the fact that it's lit up above, that it's darker in the ceiling. Some of these are darker in the ceiling. So these are nice. So after reviewing these, I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to go with this. It's a little more muted, but I like the fact that it's this muted green. I like some of the reflections going on in here. I like the red, the, the red and some blue highlights, accent colors. And I like the fact that we have white overhead lighting. Let's go back into our scene. Let's take this image and we're going to save it. And we can just right click and say save image. And we're going to save it to here. So I'll just call it color theme. And then we'll go back into here and let's just go ahead and drag this down right here. And let's open up 
the image we just saved and there we have it. So we have it, we have some colors that we can work with. Now that's done. I want to generate a similar looking material, this green up here. So part of that is going to be a function of this light. So if I go back in here, grab this light and maybe grab this, that's the color. Let's move it up a little bit. So let's just make it a little bit brighter. And I want to make this color not quite white. I want to bring it down just a little bit, something like this. And then let's make it reflective, more reflective. So I'm going to basically take the roughness and pull it down as well. So I took it all the way down. We start to see some reflections in there take place, but we don't have any bright lights to re be reflecting things off. So now we're saying, okay, that's great. But what about some of these lighting details that we want? Let's do that. Let's go ahead and take one of these pipe elements and let's create something that sits over the bed here and shines down. And then let's put it, maybe a circular one up in this area right here. So we'll do that next. Okay. So I've added some props here. I've got this little light here and a light up here, this round one. This one actually I might tab into a control A and maybe make it just a little bit thinner. So I can just do that, make it a little thinner because it's, I use the same pipe tools that we did before. And if you want to learn more about how to use the pipe tool, then just Take a look at the previous video. I also should mention that I have these under desk lights and I put those underneath there. Again, just copied some vertices from here and moved them up and created their own objects. So they're going to be a little lighting that goes under to the desk. And that's really all I have right now. I have this one area light that when we turn off, everything's black. So I've got that, which is right up in here. It's right below this light right here. Let's add an emissive material to this. If I select this and I use kit ops, I just add material. Now, if I look at this. I've got this warm emissive material on this light, but it doesn't show. Now, why is that? Well, that's because of course, as we said earlier in our view layers, we are using this manual override. So what I really want to do is I want to basically select everything in the scene. I'm going to turn off this gaffer. Here's, I have my lights and everything set there. So I'm going to turn off this collection right now. So now I've got everything in the scene. Let's go back into this view and I'm going to select everything a. And then I'll select something that has the, the AO material that we liked before. And I can just go to the materials over here and I can go over here and I can say, copy material to select it. I have that set to a Q, Q key. So now if I do that, nothing changes because we're still using the override. And that's why, by the way, if we turn off gaffer, all it's all going to be black. So that was the reason why that turns black. So now let's go in and let's turn off the override. So we'll go into here, we'll scroll down and I'll just delete this. And now we have no override, right? Everything is the same. So if I look at the scene now, we have this white light. I'm going to basically, I'm going to turn that one off. And you can see now we have the green the way we want it. Everything's set the way it was previously. So let's go ahead and look at this light and this emissive light. And let's figure out what color we want this to be. Let's make this five and let's make it, I think we want to make it a little more blue green. If I'm looking at this image. I can just go in here and I can grab, I can grab something like that color right there. That's the blue green color of that. And that works. And actually I'm going to, I'm going to select this tab into it and a control a, and let's just, let's just make that a little smaller, something like that. And also notice that I've got this other object above it and I want that to keep it from lighting up in the ceiling. And, and, and in fact, I probably want that to be a dark color. So if you look in these K material, K packs, all these materials come free with kit ups, all these KO plastic paint, special mats. I'm going to go into here and I'm going to grab a, a rubber and let's add that material to that surface. So that's there. And then I'm going to grab the ceiling object and add the rubber to that one. So it gets darker also. Let's actually, let's not make Let's go into that rubber and let's make it the color. Let's make it just a little bit lighter. Let's go into here, saturation. These objects have their own shaders built into them because they're geometry node objects. So what I'll do is I'm going to object, apply visual geometry to mesh. And so that'll just apply all modifiers for that cable. Now I've copied all the material to selected. So I'll go back in here, turn on gaffer again. I'll see anything that's a black cable means I didn't convert it. And it looks like we're in pretty good shape. I'll select this ceiling again, and we're going to add that rubber. Maybe we'll take the floor and let's add a steel to that. So that gives us a little bit more reflective area on the floor. So now that we've got that done and we'll take this character here, go into the ergo slumped character, select hierarchy. 
let's just go into local. And what I want to do with him is I want to join all of that with control J delete the base. So let's make a new material white and very shiny. So make roughness all the way down, just like that. Oops. I joined the wire render base. So let's fix that. Okay. So this is interesting. I want to create something white, but I can't. Why is that? It's because of the lighting that we set up. So let's go into the area and let's show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go click on here and I'm going to copy this, but I'm going to go in here and turn the saturation way down. And now you can see if I do that and turn this way up, I get this. So if I want to create the green color, I probably need to do it in the material. And so let's go back in and let's do that. I'm going to need to add a little bit more light to the area light. Let's give it 30. So now what I'm going to do is I create a new material, but I'll just rename this one. I'm going to just call this one interior. And I'm going to delete that. And now we can use the base color here. And of course I can grab that base color again, like over here and let's edit it and call and let's see the values, bring it up a little bit, saturation down until we get to what we're looking for. Something like that it looks pretty close. Now this white is starting to come out nicely. If I want to add a little bit of ambient inclusion, I can add a color RGB node, control C, control V, and then I just mix these two together with a mix node, with a color mix node, put that in the base color and it'll, it'll do that. That adds just a little bit extra ambient occlusion. So I may have to go back in here and adjust like the saturation a little bit to get it to where we want it. Now, the next thing I'll do, let's go ahead and let's take that rubber material and let's add that here. Actually, let's go ahead and duplicate it. Let's apply it, duplicate it and I'll call it cables and Let's look at it and I want that to be darker, something not too dark, but something like that. And then I can just go select all these cables and then select this one last Q copy material selected. And then we see that's our dark cables. And if I select, just select one and just make it a little darker, we'll get the idea. And now here's our white object and I'm going to make Let's make him as white as can be. Well, that's going to be our basic lighting. If I look at my original image, you'll see that there's not much light over here, which is fine, but there might be a little bit of task lighting going on. Like a down light might here might be good. Actually, I might just go ahead and select this and shift S snap cursor to selection and then shift A. We'll put a, a spotlight here and the spotlight. We don't make that 50 Watts, something like that. So now I'm starting to get the, the more of a white color. Maybe if I bring it over here a little bit, maybe rotate it down a little bit. There we go. Something like that. Give it a little larger radius. And then, like I said, if we have some task lighting, we can might add that later after we do the displacement. So let's go ahead and just render this out. So this is the actual render that we set up. Now we're going to add color, like the reds and stuff like that, but just the basic lighting, here's where we're at. And I think this is going to work pretty good. Okay. And that's going to be it for this part of the tutorial. This is where we're setting up the lighting. The next thing we want to do is we're going to create some trim sheets and see how those work out. Okay. Thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.